today we have a very interesting topic to discuss and it is four mistakes that I see men make when it comes to dressing and fashion. Okay, I see many tailors and fashion designers making this mistake. You know, due to the nature of our job or our work, we are always very busy. We feel there's no time to actually focus on how we appear. But you see, how we appear is how we sell ourselves. You're a fashion designer and you sew. Most times people look at what you wear to judge if you can be able to sew well for them. So dressing well is also a very important aspect of being a fashion designer or a tailor. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel Loyasi if you've not done that. Hit the notification bell so that whenever I upload videos you get the first hand notice of them. Hit the comment section if you have any question and also follow me on all my social media handles that is displayed on the screen. Now one mistake I see most people make, most men make is um, they combine casual and formal concepts in one attire. Now dressing is basically generally divided into two. You either, you're either dressing casual or you're dressing in a formal way. Now what do I mean by that? Casual wear describes maybe jean, your sneaker, or your chinos, your sneaker, and your t-shirt, or a casual shirt. Why formal? We talk, we're talking about maybe suits, tuxedo, uh, wear your suit, your tie, your dress shoe, and all of that. Now I've seen this, especially in my church. You see someone, a guy might wear maybe a suit, a formal suit, and a bow tie, a dress shirt, and trousers, and now wear a sneaker, a sneaker on top. Now, you are either going, you confuse people looking at you because they don't know if you're trying to be formal or casual. I put it in another perspective, let's go to casual. You see a guy, let's say wear um, a jean and a sneaker and maybe a t-shirt and he will now, maybe maybe a dress shirt, a short sleeve dress shirt, he will now wear a tie on top. So you see, it's confusing. So that's one area. So it's either you are going full casual or you're going full formal. So if you're a type that, though I'm not a fan of sneaker and suit, if you're a type that love that combination, it's good. But there's a way you go about it. If you want to wear a sneaker and a suit, you can take off the first button or probably the first and second button of your dress shirt. Then unbutton the suit jacket. So instead of wearing it with the um, suit jacket and the suit trouser, you can wear the suit jacket without the tie then take off maybe the first and second button of your dress shirt then instead of wearing the trousers of the suit you can wear maybe a chino or a jean then a sneaker you see you are telling people watching you or looking at you that you, are, you want to take it to the casual side so it's, it gets people to understand your style unlike confusing them wearing so that is one mistake i feel men make when it comes to second mistake i see men make when it comes to fashion and dressing is underdressing in a formal location what do i mean by that let's say you're called for an interview maybe a job interview in a bank or a formal organization and instead of going towards the formal side you now go to the casual side maybe they call you and you wear maybe a polo a jean or a polo is a chino trouser chino's trouser and a sneaker or instead of going off fully suited up you wear your suit jacket you now wear it with a sneaker going for a job interview or let's say it's a wedding and maybe you're the the men on suits or something formal let's say maybe a wedding or a church program and maybe you're a minister or something it's supposed to be formal event and you now downplay the formality of the attire by making it more casual you know dressing is really based on location so the occasion you're going for the atmosphere in which you find yourself determines how whether it tilts towards the formal or it tilts towards the casual so another mistake i see men make is um casualizing their dressing in a formal event now the third mistake i see men make when it comes to dressing is Dressing carelessly when you feel you are not going to an important place. Let's say you just want to go to the market to get something. If you ah, who will see me? So you just put on maybe one of those your old shirts and your old trouser, maybe squeezed and all of that, and maybe a, a an easy wear or flip flops, and you feel nobody will see you. Now I was listening to one of my mentors, um, which happened to be Paul Enencher. He said he dresses every time he go leaves the house. He dresses in a way that even if they call him. Um, that if the president wants to see him at that moment, he doesn't have to go back home to change. He's already well dressed. So that mentality made me to actually be more conscious wherever I'm going out, whether I'm going to the market, whether I'm going to just strolling in the area, whether I'm just going close by. So there is no 
there is no occasion. One of the days where you only dress when you are going to church. Now you dress wherever you are going because you don't know who you might meet on your way. Now this is a very funny story. There was a day I decided to go and get something in the market, and I just like I had that mentality too. I said, ah, "Who will see me when I go to the market?" Lo and behold, I wore one of my careless clothes with a because I don't really I'm not a fan of flip flops or in Nigeria they call it palm palm. I'm not a fan of flip flops, easy wear. I'm more of a shoe person. So that day I just felt ah nobody will see me now. It's just market. Let me just go to the market. So I went. And lo and behold, my ex, that was the day after like two years after our breakup, that was the day we met. And meeting her, I was she was looking wow. But I just felt less of myself because the, at that day I just dressed carelessly. So uh, that confidence was not good. I was just talking to her, just bringing some weird topics because I wasn't really feeling what I was putting on. So sometimes you just go out carelessly, you feel you'll not meet anybody important. That's the day you meet the most important person in your life. So be very caref careful. Anytime you go out, just look at yourself. If, I, if I'm invited to the villa, presidential villa, Asso Rock, or it depends on where you're situated, if I'm invited, am I well-dressed enough to go there comfortably? That's the thought. Now, the last but not the least mistake I see men, men make when it comes to dressing and fashion is wearing dress shoes or any kind of shoe without socks. Now, this might be my personal take, and if you're the kind of person that wears shoes without socks, go for it. But uh, I've seen several, especially when it comes to formal dressing, like maybe dress shoes, like maybe your Brooks or your Oxford shoes. Wearing those, those kind of shoes were made to be worn with socks. There are some casual shoes like loafers that actually go without socks. They even go better without socks. But when it comes to dress shoes, I'm talking about when I talk about dress shoes, I'm talking about Oxford, I'm talking about um, Brooks, I'm talking about those kind of shoes that you know they, they, they wear in weddings. Maybe you wear it with your, your senator wear or your suits. Those shoes go with socks, not without socks. Because when you sit down, part of your trousers, the trousers go up. And instead of staying your bare foot, which I don't think looks attractive, they should be socks. Socks is one very useful because it comes with different patterns that you can actually use to showcase your style and your personality. So I feel um, dressing is supposed to, when you wear your dress shoes, uh, maybe formally, it goes better with the socks. Just for you to pick the right pattern of socks that will go, maybe mixing the color of the socks and it, because your socks is supposed to be. Uh, to go with your trouser, the color of your trouser, so picking the right pattern will go a long way in enhancing your look. So those are the four mistakes I see men make when it comes to fashion and dressing. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please like, share and subscribe to the YouTube channel Yasi. Hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you have any question, don't hesitate to go down to my comment section. I respond to comments very quickly and very fast. And my social media handles are displayed on the screen. See you in my next video.